great lawyers. You watch this unfold. I really truly believe in the process that people are innocent until proven guilty. Though that is a fundamental, fundamental right of ours. Of course. That's being tossed to the wind. Of course it is. I also agree that the Republicans are taking it seriously and that they're giving Professor Ford every accommodation, which I think is the right thing to do. Have to under these circumstances. They've given her an opportunity to testify after this horrendous process, which Senator Feinstein has foisted on the Senate and the American people in a complete abrogation of senatorial responsibility. This is one of the great shameful moments in the history of the Senate, and she should be ashamed of herself. And so should every Democrat on that committee, not just because what they're doing to Judge Kavanaugh, but because of what they're doing to the Constitution. What about Bork? What about Clarence Thomas? Just like every two, four years in elections, Republicans, racist, sexist, they can run through the whole list, throw granny over the cliff. The Democrats care about one thing, power. That's what this is about. And they are trying to delay a vote on this nomination so that it does not occur. And the Republicans must not let that happen because if they do not confirm Judge Kavanaugh, they will lose the Senate. Senator Collins, <coughs> I don't always agree with her, she said it's not fair to either side. It isn't. She's right. Right. And the explanation we're getting from Christine Blasey Ford doesn't make any sense. Citizens don't get to demand a federal investigation. There's nothing in the law or Senate rules that give a witness a right to insist on an FBI investigation well, FBI as, a, it's not a, federal crime. as <laughs> a condition precedent to testifying. It's baffling to me that... Ms. Ford was more than willing to sit down to the Washington Post and tell her story without demanding that they conduct an investigation. Yet she will not sit down and talk to the Senate Judiciary Committee uh, unless there is an investigation. Whatever the FBI might or might not find should have no bearing on her ability to simply tell the truth. Let me ask you about another issue that is a constitutional issue. And I can't believe that Article 2, Section 1 of our Constitution, the president's in charge of the executive branch. He's asked to declassify. He's asked for unredacted information, FISA warrants, 302s. We have former CIA directors and current members of the House and Senate saying defy the president's constitutional authority. They're doing that tonight, shredding the Constitution. And there's a reason for it, because they have much to fear. Because Mr. Brennan, Mr. Clapper, Mr. Schiff is covering up for them. Mr. Schiff is a co-conspirator in an effort not only to undermine this president, but to destroy this president and violate the Constitution by subverting the election. He knows that what was done prior to the election and after was a criminal conspiracy with Brennan, Clapper, Comey, Strzok, Page, Baker, Prystep, McCabe, everybody involved in it. And what they are doing now is they don't want any of this information to come out because if it does, and as it comes out gradually, it will show categorically that they engaged in a criminal conspiracy to frame a sitting president of the United States. Will these people be indicted? I expect that ultimately they will. All of them. All of them. Craig. What do we expect when we get this information? I'm told the information will come out in next week, but in trenches, that is, in groups, a slow drip, drip, drip. I'm also told that Dan Coates, the DNI, as well as Christopher Ray, the FBI director, and Rod Rosenstein, who has much to hide and cover up here by virtue of the last FISA warrant. misconduct, will still redact some portions in defiance of the president's order. If they, in good conscience, feel like they cannot do it, they should resign. In the alternative, the president should fire them for insubordination, for refusing a direct order. So, this is a very scary time because the Constitution is clear on executive power. Article 2, Section 1, and the very first the president sentence. of the United States is a scary time. You guys have been amazing. Thank you both. Congrats on the book and congrats. You're one. I don't want to ever be on the other side of you. You're pretty tough. Uh, <laughs>